You might start by asking, what is price theory? And you might say, is it any different than the standard view of, you know, graduate microeconomics or graduate economic theory? And it has a lot in common with economic theory in the terms, in terms of it uses a lot of the same tools, but it probably uses those tools in somewhat different ways. And probably the biggest distinguishing characteristic is a focus on trying to explain the wide range of outcomes that economics can try to address. And it tries to be a guide for empirical analysis, really. And it may be a guide for the formal empirical analysis by telling you how to measure things. It also is a guide for what you might think of as less formal empirical analysis. That is, how do I answer a real world question? Like what would be the effect of a tax or a subsidy? How is the market going to respond to the developments of new technologies? What explains the growth in, in inequality? What's the effect of regu regulation? Um, and the tools it uses really stress a few fundamental concepts. Um, probably first and foremost in my mind is the notion of market equilibrium. The idea that whatever issue I'm studying, I have to constantly press to ask the question, is that really going to be the equilibrium? And one of the things you find when you look at economic analysis of many questions is people stop way too early. They have what they think is an answer, but that answer hasn't fully pressed the question of, well, is that all there is to it? Or is there going to be further responses that people have? And those responses are driven by a second force that we really want to emphasize in this course, which is competition. The idea if there are benefits out there to be had, somebody's going to try to get them. Often more than one person is going to try to get them. And that equilibrium is going to have to reflect the interaction of those individuals. I'll give you some examples of that today and throughout the course. We'll use examples of how we use those concepts of market equilibrium and competition to understand uh, how the world works. And first and foremost, that's what price theory is about. How does the world work? I guess that many of the people who take this course or watch the videos will have already taken microeconomics at a very high level. Hopefully, we'll have something to teach them as well as those who are just beginning their studies of, of, of graduate e economics. Um,